I drew to speak about today is Ephesians 4.29. And it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building each other, for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. So there are three main points we can take from this. And the first one is obviously no unwholesome talk to come out of your mouth. But it takes it a step further and asks, are your words helpful? Do they build each other up? And finally, it tells us that our words should actually benefit those who listen. These ideas are very contrary to our culture. Like, we suffer from what I like to call foot in your mouth and disease. <laughs> Maybe this is just me, but you know, there's this situation when you just like went to this restaurant the night before, and it is so bad, but you have to tell everyone that it's terrible. So you're like talking it up to your like friends and this group of people, and you're like, oh, it was awful. Like, I will never go there again. And then somebody's like, wait a second, that's my dad's restaurant? And you're like, oh, like, I did not mean that. Like, it was probably just a bad night, bad service. And you know what? I am not even good at judging those sorts of things, so just forget I ever mentioned it. Maybe you've been there. But I see this all over the place. I'm thinking like famous people, like I don't know, Kanye West. He doesn't really care what he says, unless it benefits Beyonce, but hey. But our culture is obsessed with having their opinions known. Have you been on Facebook lately? Uh, people just want you to know what they have to say. They don't really care who it benefits. And I feel like this is especially true if you are friends with an old person, or a middle schooler. But the Bible has a very different idea for how Christians should even speak. We should choose wisely what we say. Our speech should set us apart from others. And finally, it should build, each, it should build others up. So what is this unwholesome talk? When I was looking through the commentaries, I found out that one translation actually called it evil talk. And under this category, they included things like lying and malice. It makes sense. But they even included sarcasm under this um, category. So it really got me thinking. I was surprised. But it's all about does it benefit those around you. So not only is this verse a call for us to watch what we say, but it is a call to community. It is a call to know your brothers and sisters so that you might know what will benefit them when you're speaking to them. It is a call to encourage them. It's a call to build them up and not tear them down. So I feel like the big thing we can take from this is watch your words. Ask yourself before you speak, does this benefit those who are listening? Just take one moment and to think. But the really amazing thing is that when our words fail and we don't have things to we can actually pray for words of wisdom to give to someone, for God to speak through us. And the, the best part is, God's words will always benefit those who are listening. So we can take heart in that. And then with that, um, let's pray for words to speak to others. God, I thank you so much for this opportunity to stand in front of my classmates and speak. God, I pray that you guide every single one of us in our words. God, I pray that we use discernment and you give that, you give that to us to speak to others. And God, I pray that your words would come through us and not our own. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. amen.